Brian Justine with Community Sports Beat. I'm out here today in Jupiter at Aloha Surf Camp where we're going to take a look at the resurgence and popularity of surfing at the youth level. Let's take a walk down to the beach and get an inside look. This summer, over 200 area kids will take part in Aloha Surfing School. Among the many features of the program, Camp Director Kira Ammenhauser and her staff are dedicated to helping each student reach their highest level of self-confidence in a fun and safe environment. You know, we go through the lifeguard flags, we go through the points of where to surf, where it's safe to surf, we go through all the safety instructions, so undertow, rip currents, and all, everything like that. So it's basically, you know, just a learning experience for all the children, not only to be surfing, but to be a part of, you know, the lifeguarded beaches. Where do you see surfing rank in this community as far as popularity uh, among the other youth sports? Uh, I want to say it's about top five. You know, we're pretty close to paddle boarding, skimboarding, skateboarding. Now the schools are offering skimboarding and traveling wake or uh, traveling surfing. I hear the Jupiter High School is now traveling to Sebastian and Coco, and you know they're doing really well. So I think it's a pretty good sport for all kids to enjoy. So far this week, what are some of the things that you've learned? We have learned about the color of the flags and which what the colors mean. Uh, we learned of, uh, what each part of the surfboard's called. Of all the things you've done at surf camp this week, which have been your favorite? Probably um, going out to dive. It's fun being in the water and getting waves. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced student, Aloha prides itself in teaching the art of surfing with creativity, allowing students to learn independently. The hands-on training provided by Ammenhauser has helped surfing regain its popularity. Coming to you with real local youth sports coverage, it's Brian Justine with the Community Sports Beat.